Hello, 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 it's Tommy from Eurovox and I'm about to react to a song from Pabendam Is Now Yo, the national selection for Lithuania that is ongoing at the moment. The final is coming up very soon and this song is one of the hot favourites so I'm very excited to watch it for the first time. The song is called Not Your Mother, so that's very intriguing from the get-go and the artist is called Lolita Zero. So we've already had Not Your Toy, now it's time for Not Your Mother. <laughs> I don't think I would want to be either for anybody, so this is exciting. Uh, but before I hit play, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you stay up to date with all the videos that we'll be sending your way ahead of Eurovision 2022. We've got lots to come and we can keep you all the way up to date on all the national selections, the song selections, the uh, interviews that we will be doing, the reviews, everything. We have lots of discussions to come as well, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay, without further ado, time to press play. Pressing play. Here we go. Okay, <laughs> I saw something like a goat. What is this? Oh, we're getting some EDM. What the hell is this? Space goat. Why is there a space goat? This is so Eurovision, my God. What is going on? Is this RuPaul's Drag Race now? This is very interesting. Oh, curses. <laughs> this is iconic. This really captures the imagination. What's the chorus gonna be like? Oh wow, it reminds me of a Scissor Sister song. They have a song that is exactly like this, very like electro, with all these cyber noises. Look at this. Very interesting dances. Are, are they? They all look the same. Are they twins? <laughs> Quadruplets. This is so interesting. It's one note. Ba 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 This is very iconic Wow, there's so much instrumental Okay, what's happening? We need a key change This needs to get higher I can't look away, I can't look away This is captivating. Is it good? I don't know. <laughs> is it good? Is it bad? I'm not sure. This definitely creates a moment. Wow. Where is it going? <laughs> Ooh! I love this. I love this electro music sound. Somebody went crazy on a computer and this is what happened. The choreography is so funny. Work. Referencing Britney Spears there. I'm not your mother. Wow, oh my god, so much stage presence there. Woof, okay, um, let me think. That was interesting. Um, I mean, I don't know where to start. First of all, we, we don't see stuff like this at Eurovision very often anymore. This is something that we used to see a lot during the 2000s, just really outlandish um, presentation, um, over the top and a little bit quirky, edgy, eccentric. And I don't believe, we still see it now and again, but it's it's not very common anymore. So it's interesting to see that again and a modern twist on what that would look like. I didn't hate it, but it definitely has a feel of a um, gimmicky type of performance. And I don't think it was intended that way, but I think people will place it in that category, which is always a bit risky. But I appreciate that everything that was going on that stage was very intentional and required a lot of artistry. And I appreciate it very, very much. 
especially I love that um, electro sound. Like I said, it really reminds me of, um, is it Uncomfortably Numb by uh, Scissor Sisters, which is has that similar kind of like electro uh, flow to it. Um, super interesting. I mean, if that was to appear at Eurovision, people would be fixated on it. People would be talking about it. It would be t tweeted, retweeted, and uh, super, super popular with everybody. Um, and definitely it would stick out. That's how you grab votes with that kind of uh, pulling of the focus. So very interesting. If I had one criticism is I always felt like it was going to go somewhere. So it, it's all very uh, on the level. There are like there is a bit of an evolution in the dynamism of the production over time. But I did feel like it was going to go up a few octaves at the end and like give us some kind of powerful performance towards uh, towards the finish of it. But uh, having said that, um, you know, maybe it didn't need that. Maybe, uh, maybe it's, it knows what it is. It's not going to try too hard. It's going to stay on that level and create that, uh, captivating, quirky, eccentric vibe and stay there. Um, so perhaps that was intentional and maybe I prefer it that way. I'm not sure, but the lyrics, I need to listen back, but, uh, yeah, this is very interesting. I'm not your mother. Very captivating. Um, the interaction with the dancers was also very good, actually. Very effective use of just um, creating a, a very unique, quirky mood. So, yeah, uh, that was interesting. I don't know how it's going to do in the national final. I think it's probably heading towards the top with a title and a production like that. It can't not. But how would it do at Eurovision? We would have to wait and see. Let me know what you think. I think this is going to be something that divides opinion a lot. So let me know what you think. What are the good points? What are the bad points? Is it a good option for Lithuania at Eurovision? Would they do as well as the Rup have done last year? Let me know in the comments section and talk to you again soon. Goodbye.